Hi everyone, welcome to Lila Licious. I'm Regina and today I'm going to show you how to make healthy mug cakes four different ways. Mug cakes are a perfect quick way to satisfy your sweet tooth cravings and they can be ready from start to finish in less than five minutes. And if you don't have or don't use a microwave, don't worry, I've got you covered with an oven option as well. It just takes a little bit longer. All these mug cakes are coconut flour based, so they're gluten-free, paleo friendly, and I've even included an option to make them low carb or keto. The cake flavors we're making today are chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla, and pumpkin. Let's start with the chocolate version. First, you'll need a microwavable mug. I'm using a glass jar so you can see what's going on in there as we're making the mug cake. To your mug, add two tablespoons of coconut flour and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and just a little pinch of salt. That's it for the dry ingredients. Whisk all of these together until well combined. I'm using a fork here, but if you have a small whisk, that would work really well too. And because I didn't sift any of the ingredients, I'm taking extra care to try and break up all of the little lumps of coconut flour and cocoa powder. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. First up, we add one large room temperature egg, followed by two tablespoons of milk. I'm using coconut milk, but any kind of dairy or non-dairy milk will work here. Next, add two tablespoons of melted coconut oil and any other light or flavorless oil can be substituted here. Now to sweeten the mug cake, I recommend a liquid sweetener. And if you want to keep it low carb, use a sugar-free sweetener alternative like this maple flavored monk fruit syrup. Otherwise, regular maple syrup or honey are great. And finally, add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Combine all of the wet and dry ingredients. I'm using a fork here again at first, but at the end I'm also going in with a small spatula to make sure there are no dry pockets of flour left on the bottom and along the walls of the mug. For a double chocolate mug cake, stir in about two tablespoons of chocolate chips at the end. I use dark chocolate chips here. For a low carb mug cake, be sure to use sugar-free chocolate chips or leave them out altogether. And finally, it's time to cook our mug cake. To make it in the microwave, place the mug in the center of the microwave. Cook times will vary depending on the strength of your microwave. In my microwave, I set it at one and a half minutes, but sometimes I have to add 10 or 20 more extra seconds. You want the center to look cooked, but not completely dry. And when the mug cake is done, I like to add a few extra chocolate chips on top because you can never go wrong with chocolate. And now it's time for the taste test. <clears throat> Mmm, it's so good, very moist and very chocolatey. This is perfect to satisfy my sweet tooth cravings. Now if you don't have or don't like to use a microwave, you can also bake these mug cakes. The fastest way would be to divide the batter into three cupcake liners. The cupcakes will take about 15 to 18 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you don't want to get out your muffin pan, you can also divide the batter into two smaller ramekins or one large ramekin. Any other oven safe dish will work too. It's just the more the batter can spread out, the faster it will bake. In general, baking times depend also on the thickness of the walls of your baking dish. Usually it will be somewhere around 20 or 40 minutes at 350 degrees. That's a pretty big range. So keep checking regularly the first time you make one of these mug cakes and then make a note of the baking time so you'll know for the next time around. Now let's move on to the next cake flavor. Let's make a peanut butter mug cake. Again, we're starting with coconut flour and to that add baking powder and a pinch of salt. You can pre-whisk the dry ingredients, but I actually forgot this time and it's not a big deal. To the dry ingredients, add a room temperature egg and two tablespoons of natural nut butter. Any nut butter will work. Usually I use peanut butter, but it's also delicious with almond butter and I'm sure cashew butter would be great too. And that way the mug cake would also be paleo friendly. Now add melted coconut oil. And the coconut oil is the reason the egg needs to be at room temperature. 
cold egg would solidify the melted coconut oil again. Add your sweetener of choice now and a tablespoon of coconut or other milk. I completely forgot about this at this point, but luckily I realized just before it's ready to microwave the cake. Finally, add the vanilla extract. Stir everything until well combined. Again, I'm using a fork at first and then a spatula to make sure I get all dry pockets of flour from the bottom and the sides of the mug. Just before microwaving, I'm also adding just a few chocolate chips on top. This is completely optional and up to you. The peanut butter mug cake will take about one and a half to two minutes in the microwave. Again, if this is your first time making a mug cake, start checking at around the one minute mark and keep adding 10 second bursts until the cake is finished. The top of the mug cake should look cooked, but not completely dry. Now let's try. Next up is a vanilla mug cake. I like to call this one the birthday cake mug cake because I also usually add some dye-free sprinkles into it and it totally looks like a funfetti birthday cake from your childhood. Start by adding coconut flour to your microwavable mug and to that add some baking powder and a pinch of salt. You can just continue on by adding your room temperature large egg, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil and your sweetener of choice. Then add a tablespoon of coconut milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk all ingredients together until well combined. I'm using a fork again at first. And now I'm adding a couple teaspoons of dye-free, naturally colored sprinkles. And I incorporate those with a spatula and at the same time I'm making sure there are no dry pockets of flour at the bottom or on the sides of the mug. Microwave the mug cake for one and a half to two minutes and then let it sit for a couple of minutes to cool down before digging in. And to really give this vanilla mug cake, this funfetti birthday cake look, I like to add just a few more sprinkles on top before enjoying the mug cake. This vanilla mug cake version is super moist, delicious, sweet, vanilla-y. It's actually one of my favorites. And again, if you don't want to use a microwave, you can also bake this in cupcake form or in a mug in your oven. Now, on to the final mug cake flavor. Pumpkin mug cake, perfect for fall season or any time of year, really. Start by adding coconut flour to your mug and then add half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You can use store-bought pumpkin pie spice, but I also have a recipe for a homemade version in the blog post. And then to that add baking powder. You can pre-whisk the dry ingredients here or not, it doesn't really matter. Then add one large room temperature egg. To that add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. If you ever have any leftover pumpkin, you can freeze it in your ice cube tray and that's a great way to have small portions of pumpkin puree ready for recipes like this one. Now add melted coconut oil and your sweetener of choice. Finally add a 1 quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk all the ingredients together until very well combined. And if you want to turn this pumpkin mug cake into a pumpkin spice latte version, you can also add a little instant espresso or coffee powder into the batter. I also like to fold in some chopped pecan nuts before I microwave the pumpkin mug cake. Microwave the mug cake for one and a half to two minutes, depending on the strength of your microwave, or bake the batter in the oven, either as cupcakes or in ramekins. This pumpkin mug cake is such a great way to get your pumpkin spice cravings on any time of year, really. It doesn't have to be fall. It always tastes delicious and it is so quick and easy to whip up. Thank you so much for watching. I know you're going to love these healthy mug cake recipes. Leave me a comment below telling me which flavor you'd make first and then give me a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you end up making one of these mug cakes, snap a picture and share it with me on social media. Tag me at Lilalicious. I love to see your creations. And I will see you soon with another delicious recipe. Bye.